Hey everyone, what is going on? It's Emily from Living Plantfully. You already know the deal. Today we are going to be making a delicious, creamy balsamic vinaigrette that we're going to drizzle on top of an incredible candied pecan and a cranberry salad. So I know you guys are thinking what salad for Thanksgiving, but this is for those of you guys that kind of like to have something a little bit fresher on Thanksgiving. This salad, trust me, it is not your typical salad. It is so amazing. This dressing is so incredibly flavorful, rich, creamy. It's just y'all trust me on this one so enough chit chat let's go ahead and get right into the recipe all right so for starters for this recipe i wanted to make an amazing vegan feta so i could not find a vegan feta like already pre-made and i wanted to have a vegan feta like a really good vegan feta cheese because originally this salad back in the day when we weren't vegan we used to eat it with feta cheese so I was kind of like searching, 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 trial, trial, error, error, until finally I came up with the perfect, most amazing vegan feta cheese. So this is the first thing that you're going to want to make for this recipe because it does require for you to let it sit overnight. It's not super hard to make. It's amazing though. So I'm going to show you guys how I made it. I already have mine pre-made, but I'm going to run you guys through the steps. You want to grab a firm block of tofu that you have pressed very well, like you pressed all the water out of it. This tofu right here, I had just wrapped in some paper towel and I kind of like switched the paper towel a couple of times until the paper towel wasn't super soaked. So as you can tell here, it is dry to the touch. So then you just wanna crumble your firm tofu into a food processor. So you wanna start off by adding some refined melted coconut oil. This is what's going to make the feta cheese stiffen up later on because as you know, coconut oil does like harden once it's cooled. Then we're gonna to add to that some lemon juice as well as some lemon zest, followed by some rice wine vinegar. And here's the little kicker. We do wanna add in some Kalamata olive or some kind of like brine. I chose to use Kalamata olive brine because it kinda of has that like feta, like Greek-ish flavor, but you could really use any kind of brine. That's just the one that I found works best for this recipe. Some very good quality olive oil. Then we wanna to add to that some garlic powder, onion powder, nutritional yeast, and some sea salt. Once all of that is in our food processor, we just wanna let that whirl away until our mixture is nice, smooth, and creamy. And you want it to run for a couple of minutes so that our oil is nice and emulsified. After about two or three minutes, this is what you should be left with, a super smooth and creamy mixture. And then you want to place that into a saran wrap lined glass or some kind of container. And then you wanna set that into your refrigerator for about six hours. I just went ahead and let mine sit overnight cause that's around six to eight hours. All right guys, so after about six to eight hours, you will be left with legitimate feta cheese, vegan feta cheese, okay? Let's take a look. Let's pop that off. So as you can see, I smoothed it on the top as best as I could. And the reason you wanna put the saran wrap is so that you can easily just like lift your little block of feta out of here, just like this. And yeah, guys, there is our feta cheese. So as you can tell, it's very hard to the touch right now. You wanna kinda let it soften a little bit. You don't want it to come fully to room temperature or it will start to get like really mushy, obviously, cause the um, coconut oil will start to melt. But at this point, you can go ahead and cut it into kinda like little cubes. That's what I usually do. And as you can tell, it kinda crumbles and has a very similar resemblance to actual feta cheese. Let me break a little piece off so you guys can see the texture. Look at that. 
vegan feta cheese. This stuff is so good. I've been tasting it. It's really good, trust me. Mm, can't wait for you guys to have it on the salad. So go ahead and pop that back into your refrigerator. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product of that. And now we're gonna move on to the super simple and easiest candied pecan recipe that I could find. This is literally so easy to make. I have right here in this little bowl some brown sugar as well as some sea salt. So just adding some water to that. Then I'm just kind of like dissolving that just a little bit and then set that aside. So right here I have a saucepan and into here I am just going to add some pecan halves. So I'm just gonna toast these up for a few minutes just until they get nice and aromatic. You can smell kind of like that nuttiness, you know what I'm talking about? Then we can go ahead and drizzle over our sugar, water, and salt mixture. Then you just wanna toss that around until all of your pecans are nice and coated and looking nice and shiny from the glaze. After about one minute of tossing that around, you can go ahead and transfer that onto a parchment line baking sheet and allow those to cool. Oh my gosh, guys, these smell so good. So I'm just gonna set these aside so that they can cool. And you do kinda wanna separate them a little bit because they do tend to get stuck together. But how easy was that? That was literally the easiest candied pecans ever. You can totally buy some if you really didn't want to make them yourself. So now it is time to move on to the incredible creamy balsamic vinaigrette, which is my favorite part. I love this dressing. I cannot stress that enough. Like it's been like five or six years since we like started making this recipe and it's just my favorite dressing of all time. And it is so easy. You guys are going to be like, wait, what? That's it? Yes. Into this bowl, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to add all of my ingredients just so that it's easier to pour into my little cup that I'm going to be serving my dressing in. Into here, we are going to be adding some mayo as well as some Dijon mustard. A very good helping of grated or minced garlic. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Some sugar. This is just some granulated organic sugar some sea salt and I don't know what it is about this stuff but this is what makes the dressing so if you don't have this stuff it is Morton's nature seasoning blend and I'm pretty sure you can use something similar it's just sea salt black pepper sugar spices natural onion flavor garlic flavor parsley celery seed and then like a preservative but it's like no MSGs in it and I don't know what it is about this little spice blend but this is what makes the dressing like do not skip out on it and trust me you're gonna want to make this dressing so much that it is not gonna go to waste and this also tastes really good on like any kind of sauteed vegetables so yeah we're gonna be adding that in I'm gonna be adding in some balsamic vinegar and make sure that you use a nicer higher quality balsamic vinegar for this recipe so go ahead and whisk that together really well and then we're gonna go ahead and drizzle in some good quality extra virgin olive oil. So you just wanna whisk that together until our dressing is nice and emulsified and looks nice and creamy just like this. And I recommend leaving this overnight to just marinate with all of those flavors, the garlic, just everything. It tastes better with time, I'm telling you. But it's still good just like this as well. So our dressing is done, our feta is done, our candied pecans are done. And now it is time to assemble our epic Thanksgiving candy pecan cranberry salad.
there it is you guys the super amazing candied pecan vegan feta creamy balsamic cranberry salad i don't even know what to call this thing i know people are going to be like wait a minute salad but once they taste it there's not going to be any question about it because it is so epic so delicious so flavorful i know you guys are probably thinking wait a minute emily where are you going to eat it from i'm going to eat it right from here because this is mine i made this for me and i'm just so excited to try this you have to get everything candied pecan a dried cranberry and of course some vegan feta okay oh my goodness guys my mouth's watering right now what oh my gosh I think I died I went to heaven this is so good oh my gosh guys this feta is out of this world you have to make the feta store it in your fridge I have so much feta I am so excited oh my goodness okay I'm gonna try to explain the salad it's gonna be hard cuz okay so you get the candied pecans which is the perfect crunch perfect sweetness also adding to the sweetness is the dried cranberries then you have the super creamy briny salty feta cheese and then to top it all off you have this amazing like burst of flavor when it comes to the dressing because the garlic the lemon juice the balsamic everything that is in that dressing combined together is just a symphony of flavors that is just magical that's all i can say you have to make this guys mm. no i can't even i can't words cannot describe so there you go guys there is my epic thanksgiving salad this thing is amazing you did not only get one recipe you did not only get two recipes you did not only get three recipes you got four recipes total in one freaking video what you got the feta vegan feta which in and of itself is amazingly epic and you can totally use this in so many other recipes okay you got of course our super easy candied pecans which again you can use by themselves in whatever you want. You got this amazing dressing, which in my personal opinion, tastes best with this combination of salad, but can totally be used in other stuff, okay? And then you got the total package of everything, which makes this epic salad that you can take to your upcoming festivities, be the one that's a little bit different, you know, the one that stands out and takes a salad that people aren't really expecting, but then when they taste, they're like, holy crap, this is freaking amazing. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the first addition into the Ultimate Vegan Thanksgiving playlist. I will have it linked, of course, in the description as well as right here in the corner so you guys can check out last year's videos. If you liked all four of these amazing recipes, be sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section what what other kind of recipes you guys would like to see before Thanksgiving. Be sure that you are subscribed to Living Plantfully and that you are also notified. Click that little bell that's right next to the subscribe button so that way you can be notified every single week when a brand new video goes out. The countdown is here guys. Three weeks till Thanksgiving. I am so excited. I don't know about you guys. I cannot wait. Hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and I will see you guys of course as always next week. Bye. It came out just like I remember it with the feta and everything. Like, it's so spot on. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. And I was like, mm, mm, mm.